Alright guys, what's up y'all? Okay, so y'all remember this, right? I showed y'all these parts, okay? Well... Look what else came today. More stuff. That's right. I gotta show y'all this stuff, man. Y'all gonna love this. This is awesome. Look. All right. Okay, so these. This is pretty cool. This is the diff. Remember I was saying that I needed to rebuild the differential? Well, that's what uh, this is. This is the aluminum. Because the differential is all plastic and stuff. Um, not anymore. We're gonna reinforce ours. So that's pretty cool. Oh. Check it out, y'all. Uh, oh, look at this. Oh my God, y'all. Check these out. Woo, these are beautiful. Oh, these are made by GPM, which is really the other big dog that makes upgraded parts. There's only like two or three people that make upgraded parts for the Creighton. It's Intigy, GPM, and that hot racing they're like really the only three people that make aftermarket stuff look at the way the arms like bent up like that that's like a weird design you see that see how it goes whoop that's crazy these are our front arms okay so yesterday if you guys saw yesterday's video or yesterday's or the last video if you guys saw the last video that I did you'll remember that um, I was talking about replacing these top pieces here so that is what these are they're going to replace the top now I noticed that even the stock one has this big kind of arch to it so I guess that's important to have that arch in there yeah I guess so it doesn't hit nothing Look, the other pair has arrived today. <clears throat> and then these are our other Lipo bags. And there's three of them in there. One, two, three. Yeah, there's three of them in there. Good. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, three. Okay, yeah. Good. I'll need those for spares. So this is what I want to do. You know how like in the car movies where they'll like have all of the aluminum parts laid out? And then that's what they use to like build the car back because they show you all the aluminum parts laid out. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to lay out all the aluminum parts except for uh, our new shocks. These I will put on the pegboard. <laughs> Wow, these are really light. Super light. I think I've bought just about every upgrade of part that you can buy for this car. The only thing that I haven't bought uh, is like the aluminum underarms or shock towers. But the Creighton comes with aluminum shock towers already with the car so i don't see the need into buying i mean unless you want to change the look of the car that's fine we pretty much though have gotten a lot of the structural integrity stuff down that's what i want it to get down you got all the aluminum braces you got the carbon fiber center shaft rpm arms you got the aluminum front arms we're going to reinforce the diffs. Um, also, we're, you know, the gearbox is going to get reinforced. The differentials are going to get reinforced. Everything is going to get reinforced. It so that means that since we have all, well, 90% of our upgrades, we can go ahead and start working on some of it. So I guess the first thing that I will do is remove this and replace it with the aluminum. Um, we will probably go ahead and even tear apart the differential and rebuild it run into a very serious problem with this new part see if i can get the camera low enough to where you can see all right so do you notice how much higher this piece is than this piece by quite a bit so when i take our new aluminum cap and go to fit it 
See that? Look at that gap. It doesn't fit. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Not sure at all what I'm gonna do about that. Upgraded part to the truck. Upgraded bear. Oh, did I? I forgot to tell you guys about that. I put ceramic bearings in the whole truck. It was like eighty dollars just for ceramic bearings, but they're supposed to be really, 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 really good. So we got them. Anyway, check it out. All upgraded. The hubs, even the nut is like upgraded. The only thing I don't like is the red. We're going with the black and blue kind of color theme, but I guess it just really isn't an Arma unless you have a little bit of red thrown into it. But basically everything else that you see that is red on this vehicle is probably not going to be there much longer. Uh-oh, found another issue. So I was looking at the one way. This is supposed to be the center one way, all right? First thing I noticed was look at that. It's a three count. On this, this is a four pattern. See the pattern? Four, look, look here. See the pattern? There's four screws there. See the pattern on this? There's three. So if I was to just kind of like set this over that, look, no matter which way I try to line up the screws, you can see that the bolt pattern's wrong. This isn't gonna fit. And it's a metal diff case. So if this doesn't fit, then like I, I'm, I'm just gonna give up, give up on upgrading it to hell with it. Cause this is one, two, this is three, three upgraded parts that I've bought so far that make no sense on how to fit. The first one, this piece, this makes no sense on how it's supposed to line up with the other ones. Even with the stock pieces, they, the holes don't line up. So that's kind of a mystery. This thing is a lot shorter, can't figure that out. And then also, like you guys just found out a minute ago, this one way doesn't fit. So that's three parts that I bought that don't make sense. On to this. Hopefully this will be better. Wish me luck. Supposedly it is to the rear differential housing, which is what this is. There it is. Complete it. Looks good. Now, will it run? Will it work? I don't know. Something that I had to find out though. The original one is a lot bigger because these little clips that go in the side that hold the spider gears or the planetary gears or whatever you want to call them in uniform it keeps them there from moving this thing doesn't require that and it it turns well if you look see how it goes red and then right above the lettering you see this the silver strip pops in Right, that silver strip pops in and then it goes back to being all red again and then back to that silver strip. Well, what it is is that there's a tight spot right there and that gear is just barely clearing it. It's almost like when they put that symbol right there, the the paint is higher than what it needs to be. So it's it's just kind of binding it just a little. And I'm thinking that with a little bit of wear, a little bit of break-in, that problem will go away. Um, because it already turns really well. It's just right there. See, it gets tight right in front of that lettering. So, yeah, see? Tight. Nice and smooth. Tight. Right in front of the lettering. At this thing the battery checker I have no idea how to use it I'll have to uh, read up on it I'm assuming it's just a plug-and-play so you just hook the battery to it 
or you just hook the lead and it should tell you whether or not if it's working but cool oh look at that it comes with the screen protector I'll be dang that way you can peel this thing off and put a real protector on it that's really cool nice touch what a day what a day i appreciate you guys watching the video thank you make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment below and as always see you guys in the next one continue the upgrade kraken 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 the upgraded crouton. Yes, I like my croutons on my crouton.